Hello fellow collecting freaks and lunatics. Kenny back with um, some more goodness I hope uh, today. We're going to do the second part of, uh, of the racing games. Now um, today covering PS3 and Xbox 360. Now while I wouldn't be arrogant or presumptuous enough to call myself an expert on anything, um, I would I would say PS3 was probably the the machine that, um, that I collected most avidly for in, in a gaming sense. Um, I was into everything. I mean, I've done. If you look, at anybody that's interested in PS3 games, just you know, take a look at my back catalogue of videos. Um, I've got collectors' editions, limited editions, steel books, variants. You name it, I was into it. So anything that I show you. PS3 hopefully is, is, is fairly complete, um, such as it is with racing games, because it's um, it's one of my favourite genres. So we'll, I'll, cut, I'll cut the chat short today because I've got a lot to get through. Um, okay, now um, PS3. Let's get, uh, get moving on it. Oh, sorry. Forgot. Um, last time we did the PS2... And PS1, and I, and I mentioned that um, I'd mislaid my my uh, half a dozen Xbox games that I have. Well, I never I never collected actively for the Xbox for some reason, but I did I did get some Xbox only uh, racing games, and and I'm glad I found them because some of them are, are quite influential. Um, as as, you, as you'll see as I show them to you, um, the first one that I have is the is the Forza Motorsport now. Just my opinion, but in my opinion, the Forza games are the best of the racing games that I've played. Um, as I say, it's just a just a personal preference, but um, I, I've I've never been disappointed with a Forza game yet, and I find them very playable. You can play them as um, as arcade, a simulation, uh, whichever you want, um, and 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 I say so I've I've enjoyed each and every one. So yeah, good old Xbox had the had the first uh, ever Forza game. Um, now, likewise, this was, um, this was another um, Xbox series that uh, that was well thought of. The Project Gotham Racing. Um, this began life, as I say, on the original Xbox as an exclusive, um, and there was a, a second a second game and. Um, I'll show you a few more that came out on the uh, on the 360. That was that, and then now this is um, this is a nice game. Um, Outrun. So I'd I'd forgotten it was a it was an Xbox Xbox exclusive um, blah, blah, blah. Um, Xbox exclusive. Um, this is a limited edition with the with the music CD in, um, but. Um, I can't let this go without. Uh, that's got the. So it's got the, the booklet inside, um, and the and the soundtrack. Um, nice one to have. Now I can't let that one go without mentioning the fact that um, although, although Outrun Two was was a good game, they, they did a sequel to it. It was called um, Outrun Two Special Tours, and in my local Namco arcade, I'm lucky enough to have one within, you know, within a, an hour or so's bus ride away. It's, it's where I go to see the IMAX films. Actually, same place. Um, they they had up until a few a couple of months ago um, a large sit down. Outrun Two Special Tours machine with a sixty-inch screen. I mean, that was something to behold, and um, you know, I played it a few times, and, it, and believe me, it's the most fun I've ever had uh, with a racing game. So yeah, I was I was sorry to lose that one, um, but of course, I have to make room for all the usual rubbish that uh, that seems to creep into the arcades these days. Um, not that I'm bitter or anything. <laughs> it's just that uh, I still I still uh, have a passion for the. Um, the old arcades from the from the eighties and nineties, uh, which sadly don't exist anymore. Anyway, enough about that. Um, 
Yeah, now another, another series that was an Xbox exclusive. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of, of rally games, but um, yeah, I mean that was that was one of the better ones in my opinion. Uh, rally Sport Challenge. It was uh, quite an under an underrated one, and then they did a they did a second one there. So yeah, that was the that was the Xbox stuff that, that I missed showing you last time, but well worth looking at um, because. Quite some important stuff there. Okay, now I'll um, I'll kick off um, kick off the proper video with um, with the PS3 stuff. As I say, it's uh, it's fairly complete in as much as um, all the I think all the arcade racing games are here. Um, it might be a bit deficient in the F1 department because I've never been a big F1 fan. I think there might be a couple of years missing, but I'm not. Uh, I mean, I'll pick them up for a quid when I see them. Uh, can't be bothered. Um, yeah, Blur. Um, that, that's another one of these overrated, sorry, un underrated uh, racing games that uh, didn't sell in any great numbers. I mean, if you go around, you don't see many of these out in the wild in, in, in the second-hand shops. Um, in fact, it's still, still quite expensive, actually, for what it is. Um, and, uh, yeah, as I say, it's it's a good old arcadey uh type racing game where you pick stuff up uh it'll be familiar you know there's a lot of a lot of games on on the ps4 like this but uh i think that was one of the first games uh, of, of its um of its kind i'm doing these in alphabetical order by the way or roughly alphabetical you know uh, not strict but roughly um yeah then burnout paradise um Never, never been a great fan of, of the later Burnout games. I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the second one on on PS Two, but uh, I don't know when they, when they when they sort of like change focus into, into having crashes and knocking people out the way. I I didn't like that um, too much. But having said that, you know, it's still a, still a very good game in, in its own right, but uh, not quite the the racing game that uh, that I prefer. Of course, I've updated that now. Uh, there's, you can get the updated version for the uh, for the PS4. Uh, sorry, which um, which is that? I've updated that. That's the ultimate box. That was <clears throat> that was just Burnout Paradise with all the, I think it was all the DLC and stuff uh, thrown in. Um, I mean, a good game as I say, but not one of my favourites. Um, right, Colin McRae. Um, that that was two. Actually, I uh, I've got I've got something else to show you. The the dirt one. It came in a. The reason I, I it's not in the pile here is because it it came as a special edition. But um, I'll, I'll show you that later. So that was dirt. So as I say, I'm not I'm not the greatest rallying fan in the world, but I've always tried to keep keep up to date with the uh, with the rally games. Um, and then came came dirt three. I think I think that was the one that they've got um, got a lot of uh, bad reviews for being being so Americanized, but um, I didn't it didn't look any different to to many of the other dirt games to me, to be quite honest. Um, or was it that one? Maybe that was the one. But yeah, dirt showdown. Now because because I used to <coughs> because I used to collect uh, variants, and for those of you that don't know what a variant is, it's just um copy of the game that's not a vanilla version it's it's something um, added to it or it's packaged differently or it's got a different color um, and, and this particular one as you can see is the is the Hoonigan exclusive edition all that means is it will have some DLC inside a couple of cars you know, I used to pay an extra fiver uh, to get them um, but I, I've always collected the the uh, the variant edition so you'll see quite a few of these going forward um, right, and then uh, that, that was that was one that wasn't the greatest game in the world. That one Ferrari Challenge. Um, I it's it's pretty bog standard to be honest. It just focused on Ferrari, and I think they forgot about the they forgot about the racing, quite frankly. Um, right, and then that was another one they did. Um, and weirdly enough, um, <laughs> it. it I, I don't know if I've seen it uh, again on PS3, but this was, um, although although it had 
space for a disc there it actually came with um, a DLC um, card um, I thought I had it but um, seems we're going to drift somewhere look through here for some reason it's not there but yeah that that came with um with a with a with a voucher um, you don't often see a voucher game with a with a box and instructions so you know that's uh, that's a peculiar one but there again it wasn't uh, the handling on those games was strange uh, yeah that was the that was that, that wasn't an official uh, f1 license but it was the um, the original f1 championship edition that did I think it was one of the one of the very first one of the earliest racing games that came out on ps3 um, I'd say not uh, known spectacular to be honest well, it says they're featuring all the official cars but um, maybe maybe add the license before before the late uh, 4 EA took it over um, right now that's the the first of the Mario Kart um, style of, of racing game that I have to show you there again it's um, it's a variant as you can see it's got uh, it's the Valencia Street Circuit exclusive edition um, I just like these variants that's that's why I get them you know um, actually there's um, just sidetracking a minute there's some of the variants on PS3 are some of the hardest games to find. Um, but um, I won't get into that now because I don't think any of them are, are, are racing games. Um, and then we move on to F1. I think, I think that's actually the only, the only F1. That's the classic edition of 2013. That's the only F1, uh, EA F1 game I've got for the the PS3. I've got a couple for the Xbox 360 which you know as, as you all know came out at the same time as the PS3 so I've got some games that I haven't got on uh, PS3 I've got on 360 so um, they're all there. So that was a special slipcase edition of the 2013 and then we move on to yeah that was an interesting one uh, why they printed it that way I mean it's one of those where well, it's upside down on the spine, and also you can you can hold it up that way or sorry that way. <laughs> um, it's um, I, I haven't included any any um, bike racing games and say so, uh, they, these are all car racing games, but this was like um, ATVs and stuff, so I guess they qualify. Not a bad game actually, as I remember. Quite fast and furious. <clears throat> right, now this was uh, Gran Turismo 5. Um, the Gran Turismo 5 got delayed and they did this sort of like standing prologue edition. It wasn't it wasn't a full price game, but um, it just gave you a bit of a taster of um, of, of, of what was to come in um, in, in the full edition, which, uh, uh, yeah... The Grand Turismo 5, that's the Academy Edition. Um, I've also got a I've also got a Collector's Edition um, of, of, of Grand Turismo 5, but I think, I think that was the, the, the base of the main game. Uh, I might be wrong there, now come to think about it, but anyway, it's a worry. Um, yeah, right now, Grid. Um, I'll just show you this one first because obviously it comes first in the sequence. Um, that, that's one of the very few sort of limited edition, sort of collector type editions that they did for a racing game. Um, I don't know of any other uh, limited edition. As I say, there's a Gran Turismo uh, collector's edition, five collector's edition, but uh, as far as I, I, I remember, this was the only kind of limited edition that came out. And the reason it's a limited edition is because it has... Um, it has a little, I'm not going to take it to bits because it always falls apart. Uh, there's a little thing in there that always falls out. But uh, yeah, that, that's a book next door to the game. Um, and these were these were badly misprinted. I mean, it looks all right there because yeah, it's got the lights on it from the window. But in actual fact, it's, it was printed very darkly. So I think these were, these were kind of misprints, but... Um, they were quite expensive at the time, and they're not—they're not easy to find now. The um, the, the the limited edition. 
and then later later on they did a grid as um, an ordinary game, platinum game, but it had all the you know the DLC cars in it. And as far as I remember, it didn't come as a voucher either. I think the DLC cars were actually on the disc. So that's one of the few platinum um, editions that I've got. Actually, I don't normally buy them. And then we had, I'll show you these together. Uh, then we had Grid 2. Now there were there were two uh, there were two editions as you can see the Browns Hatch Limited and the Race Day edition, um, both variants. Here you could buy an ordinary edition as well, you know, just a vanilla. Uh, one was a um, one was a game exclusive. I think the other one was an Amazon exclusive. But uh, of course, being a nutcase of a collector, I had to have them both, didn't I? But uh, that was good. So uh, that that was um, I think that was the better of the of the, of the first couple of grid games. In my opinion, um, they somehow improved upon it. Um, I'll just whip that over there. Right, okay. Um, now we come to the, the later grid games. That's the Grid Auto Sport Limited Black Edition. Uh, like I say, all these, all these had a vanilla edition. This just happens to be a variant, a DLC variant. Most, most of these DLC variants are are game uh, exclusives where, as I say, they charge you an extra fiver, I think it was, for, for just some extra cars. I mean, uh, extra stuff on on, on, uh, on release day always smacks them a bit of a, a money grab to me, but um, they do them and it's a variance and uh, being the madman that I have, I, I need to have them, especially for racing games. Um, right, this is a nice, interesting one. The, the old big planet carting and that's a special edition again it's got a nice um you can see there it's got a nice I mean, the light's a bit dodgy nice lenticular cover and it's one of these it's got a, got a plastic cover to it which is which is that to let you know it's a playstation game i've seen a lot of these um in 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 second hand shops which is that you know without the plastic cover but uh, not quite the same I and mean, that, that's your lenticular bit and then and then inside you had I, I like these boxes they're these these nice little nice little foldy out boxes um, which always look pretty and, uh, and and pretty spectacular as well um, and then inside you just add your a little pocket here with the with the um, with the book and the DLC and stuff. Um, yeah, that was I. I remember paying about forty odd quid for that because it was expensive when it came out, and I wanted a DLC, so um, I had to pay full price for it. Oh, right, but having said that, most of these racing games I paid full price for because I just like racing games. Now this is. Um, this is one that's quite, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say scarce as such, but you don't, you don't see many of these around. Um, last time I looked, you know, it held its price quite well. Um, I mean, I mean, it was it was knocking about at about fifteen quid for a second-hand copy. Um, I don't know, it's still there or whether it dropped a little bit, but um, yeah, it's one of those games that I don't know whether it just sold poorly, so there's not many about or. Or people just kept it, but uh, yeah, it's um, it's not uh, it's not the easiest one to find if you're looking for. It's just another Mario Kart type uh, clone job, you know. Um, there again, this is I haven't got the original. I think I might have it in the Xbox 360 section there, but yeah, Midnight Club Los Angeles. That's a complete edition. Um, that's another one of these with with just the the DLC added to it um, for the platinum. Um, so if you like DLC, just an arcade, standard arcade racing game that was. Um, <clears throat> and then Mod, Mod Nation Racers. Uh, I think you could do all sorts with this, you know, you could mess about with the cars and the tracks. and uh, Not my cup of tea, I just like to pick up a racing game and play it. I can't be bothered with <coughs> with, with making my own tracks or... <coughs> or crafting, uh, excuse me, uh, crafting my own carts. Um, <coughs> losing my 
worse already. <coughs> okay, so that was Modern Asian Races. Um, right, oh, it is a nice little series. Um, Motor Storm. There again, we're, we're talking, we're not talking cars here, we're talking uh, MTVs. They look more like bikes, but I classify them as, 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 um, as nearer cars than bikes. So um, that was uh, quite an early <coughs> an early game, that one. Um, just thinking on there. Oh, that one, that one. Um, I know I bought one of these and it had the... Well, that one either. Oh, that was... Um, Sequel Night of Storm Apocalypse. Uh, more of the same, but uh, that looks looks to be cars. You can see there seems to be cars in that one. And then the third one, I think this was the one. Yeah, I bought it, and uh, I hadn't really. I mean, I'm not bothered actually because I like these demo discs, so I, I did start to collect them, but they're quite expensive. Uh, that came with. Uh, that, I mean, that is a complete game. It just happens to be the demo. Uh, game that's given uh, out as press uh, kits and press releases, you know, full games there. So at all intents and purposes, it's still uh, it's still all there. Um, I mean, as I say, I don't mind getting these with the with the demo disc in because a lot of people collect them and they, they are a collectible and b some of them quite expensive. So that was the uh, the third in the series. And right, yeah, mud. I didn't know whether to add this or not because it is, um, it is a bike race. But I think there might be some MTVs in there, uh, some quad bikes or something. So I kind of included it. Um, is um, NASCAR? No, I've never, never got NASCAR. I must admit, I, mean, I know it's an American sport, but um, I've never really really followed it or understood it to be quite honest um there is a there is a nascar 08 which i haven't picked up yet um but i will do just for the sake of of, of completeness but um yeah it's not it's not a game that i've i've played or in uh, well i have played it but it's not a game that i particularly enjoyed so um yeah, there's a strange little one um I don't know, I mean, there are quite a few Need for Speeds on PlayStation 3. And actually, um, Need for Speed games on PlayStation 3 are, you know, are pretty good, by and large. Unfortunately, they've stagnated on the on the PS4, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, some people still like them. Still seem to sell quite well. But, uh, yeah, this was, uh, this was a weird one. It was like... Um, as you can see, that it says special edition, and it's got this um, got this weird cover. Um, if I can get it out, the slipcase here. Yeah. This uh, tire track <laughs> cover. Um, it has the uh, has the benefit of being being unusual, if nothing else. But um, as I say, it's it's as far as I'm concerned, it's a variant. So I prefer it to. Uh, so just having the normal, the normal vanilla, and we move on to the rest of the, the Need for Speed that came out to help us shoot. That was a good game. And again, it says limited edition. It's just got a few extra, a few extra cars uh, attached to it, and then I think the next one. Uh, oh, well, Shift Two, Shift Two, two Unleashed. Very similar to the other. Um, one that I showed you with the tyre tracks there and then oh yeah right not so good I think I think this was this was the first game that uh, that EA put out in the franchise that kind of sent the sent the uh, need for speed games into a downward spiral and uh, I didn't like that at all um and then, yeah, I mean, that continued with, with the run. Um, yeah, they, they, they kind of moved away from the arcade race into a story, a storyline and, uh, you know, all this drug dealers and what have you didn't really appeal to me. I mean, to me it started to smack a bit of Grand Theft Auto, um, which I don't like. 
Um, and we move on to rail. It, it got back to form. Um, got back to form with this one. Um, I quite enjoyed that. Um, it wasn't so much a you know story driven uh, need for speed, and then um, most wanted that came with a shiny. You can see it there; it's got like a shiny colour to it. Um, and again, it's a limited edition with a few extra cars. Um, yeah, that's all it was in it. Um, so yeah, that, I say that wasn't that wasn't too bad. Um, and pure, that's another one of these um, quad bike things. Um, it's uh, it's it's a uh, it's a limited edition because it's got um, it's got a little art book inside. I'll just uh, I'll show you one here. Yeah, that little sort of sorry, a little art book there. No, it's nothing to write home about. It's only a thin sixteen page thing, but um, yeah, and it came with this. Um, uh, glossy silky cover as well so uh, that was that um, uh, Ridge Racer 7 that was that was the game that forced me to buy a PS3 I wasn't going to buy one for a while but uh, as soon as that came out um, I've always been a big Ridge Racer fan so um, yeah good game that I spent many many a moon uh, playing that one anybody who knows about Ridge Racer will know what I'm talking about now this um, I, I never really understood why why this um, got so much bad press. Um, I didn't think it was a bad game at all. Um, admittedly, it was a, it was a shift away from your normal Red Racer, but um, oh, that was good fun. You know, smashing stuff up, a bit like uh, Split Second, which I'll show you show you a bit later. But um, yeah, I don't know why that got so much stick. Um, it's one of these um, off-road racing things with a score, score, long, long title score international bar jar one thousand world championship off-road racing. How's that for a name? Must be the longest, longest name ever. Uh, not my cup of tea, but it's a racing game, so I bought it. Um, yeah, this was quite good. Sonic, Sega All Stars racing, not a Mario Kart ripoff, admittedly, but. Uh, very playable and a lot of fun. Um, then we had the sequel, Transform, the one is shiny colours, you can just about to see there. Um, limited editions, I say, because it had some extra cars to it. And Right, now, <clears throat> when, you, when, when I talk about underrated games, I normally use this as an example. Um, didn't sell that well. I mean, I've seen, I've seen a few copies out in the wild there, uh, less frequently now. But um, no, I thought this was a cracking little game. In fact, I was just playing it on my PC. I bought it on Steam um, a while back and just got around to playing it. And on PC, it looks very, very nice. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's like an arcade racer where you're whizzing around cityscapes and you, you can actually blow buildings up and drop buildings aren't the other cars I mean it's great fun it's not I mean it's not the easiest game I've ever played uh, as a racer by any means because you've got to concentrate on on doing more than one thing at a time but um, yeah I, I mean that's one of the great underrated uh, in my book um, yeah supercar challenge I think this was by the same people who did the Ferrari one I showed you earlier and it was just as uh, something about the handling in these games it's very heavy um, but it's a game you don't see around too often. Um, then there was Superstars V8 uh, racing. I um, can't remember much about that, to be honest. Just um, V8 cars, I think. But, uh, more, I think. More of a rallying type of game, as I, as I remember. I might be wrong about that. And then that's... Um, yeah, that's another one of the... Ferrari came under the banner of Test Drive, that's why it's not in the F's. Uh, yeah, Test Drive, Ferrari Racing Legends. Not a terrible game, but not um, not one that I found particularly interested in. I became pretty interested in. Um, that, that one is a kind of um, kind of a racing game. It's 
it's more sort of like driving around showing off your car but I think there's some racing in there that's why I included it but um, uh, it looks nice but not the greatest now this one has always been a mystery to me this was the first of the um, WRC championship games and the reason it's always been a mystery is because uh, as I said to you I collected variants and this one came with um, with a slip case which the vanilla edition didn't have and normally I know uh, you know being a PS3 sort of like fanatic um, normally I know where uh, any given um, variant comes from but this one I never did manage to find out who produced the the, the one with the with the cover with the plastic cover so if anybody knows um, postcard here please and then it was the inevitable follow up to say I'm not the biggest rally fan uh, and then I think that was the the last in the series and then we had oops going around the right way got a wipe out see many of these are better actually uh, it's quite a Quite the scarcest game these days. Um, you can buy it on PC, PSN, but um, yeah, the actual hard uh, physical copy of it you don't see around very often. Um, and then the only other two I have left to show you are the two steel books that I have. Uh, strange they didn't produce many. Um, you see, I bought this second hand because it's showing signs of, of wear here which I don't like so i looking for a better copy of that but yeah that was the first Colin McRae Dirt game um, I think it was the first Steelbook 4 PS3 as I remember and then you had the um, Grand Turismo 6 Anniversary Edition which came with a nice Steelbook so yeah there we go that's um, that's what we have on PS4 and I'll just briefly We've been at it. We've been at it over half an hour already. I'll just briefly run through the um, the Xbox 360 stuff. Now the reason I've got I wouldn't normally buy a game on 360. I've already had it on PS3. But the reason I've got duplicates is because somebody gave me yes gave me um, an official steering wheel. Uh, I don't drive myself, so I'll never use it. But I did. I tried it, and. Um, Oh, it was great fun. Uh, yeah, actually, you know, using the the, the, the steel and, and the pedals, I rigged it up on a little sort of like table I had that, that was just about right height. Yeah, I had great fun. So I started to buy some more Xbox 360 racing games um, and and play them. So that was um, that was Blur. Um, Burnout Revenge. Here we go. So some games, some games I've got on 360 that I haven't got on PS3 and vice versa. So this was one that uh, I had on 360, so I never got the, the PS3 game. And there we go. That's just, I, I just showed you the still book for that. That's the that's the normal game. And F1 2010. And I showed you 13 there, so on PS3 and I've got 12, so I'm missing 2011. I don't know if any came out after 2013, but um, I'll get to it at some point. Um, yeah, flat out, yeah, that's quite a pretty fast game. Uh, great with a steering wheel, because you, you, were, you were struggling to keep control of the, of the cars. The pace was that quick. Um, yeah, that's the... I decided to get that for so I could play it on the steering wheel. And again, good to, I like that game, so I thought that would be good. That would be good with a wheel. And this one I don't have on PS2, just. It's just a, sort of like an arcade arcade racer. And that's the, I showed you the platinum version with the DLC. Well, that's the original Midnight Club. Another just arcadey type of, of racer and nail. That's a, an ATV uh, four wheeler jobby. 
And what do we got here? Yeah, Need for Speed Pro Street. I uh, haven't got that for the PS3, but I've got it on the 360. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't the best Need for Speed game, but it was better than some of the ones that followed. And I just wondered. And this is uh, this was a it was a special edition, collected edition. Need for Speed Carbon. I reckon I don't have that for the PS3. I don't know what's special about it. Uh, exclusive vehicles, blah blah. Bonus DVD features, so uh, yeah, it came in a snazzy, a snazzy slipcase, <coughs> um, and then, yeah, Unleashed, Shift 2, Unleashed. Also, well, most of these were just to play on the wheel, I've already got uh, Hot Pursuit, yeah, that's, that was, I think that's one of the best, one of the best Need for Speed games in the modern era. Right, then we move on to Project Gotham Racing, which of course was a, an Xbox 360 exclusive like the, the other two I showed you on Xbox. A uh, decent racer, very decent. Um, and then that was the last one they did, Project Gotham Racing 4, and one of my favourite games of all time, Ridge Racer 6. That was the reason I bought a 360. As soon as I saw that, I thought, ah, oh, we've got to have a 360. Play that one. Uh, very playable game. Uh, I think I finished it. Um, got everything, all the cards and what have you. <coughs> um, very good game. I decided what sad awakening when I went online. You've got to go online to get a couple of cards, and I played against some of these Japanese um, drivers. Ooh. I got kicked off one. Uh, I got kicked off one board because uh, I was coming in about thirty seconds behind everybody else. <laughs> Uh, and that's the unbounded that I showed you. Ridge Racer, last few here. Um, Race Pro. So like a, no, that's a touring, touring car type of, of game. Um, Sega Rally. Uh, famous. I don't. Know, I think they came out on the PS3. I can't remember. I haven't got it on the PS3. Um, and again, we have. I had to have that. I had to have that to play with the wheel, because uh, that's a cracking game. And then we have Superstars Next Challenge. That was a sequel to the one I showed you on PS3. And finally, World of Outlaws Sprint Cars, Strange Cars. These um, I've never, like NASCAR, I've never really understood <laughs> sprint racing, but. Uh, there it is. It's quite, a, it's quite expensive, that one, online uh, these days. I wouldn't say it was rare, but it's uh, certainly expensive. And then that just leaves us with a couple that um, I had filed separately, so I never filed them in um, to the main body. Bajar, Edge of Control, similar to the score one I showed you on PS3. Um, Fatal Inertia, it's a futuristic wipeout type of... Okay, I bought it. I bought it on PSN for PS3, but decided to get it for for the uh, Xbox 360 as a physical copy. And then that's the Import Tuner Challenge, which is an Xbox exclusive, Xbox 360 exclusive, I should say, Japanese racing. And that was the first test drive I know. There again, more about showing off flashy cars than racing. And then, last but not least, I have the um, the two Forzas that came out as, um, as special editions. Um, Forza 2, uh, which had a book. Oh, well, the video's run on for long enough now. I might as well, might as well show you. Um, it, had a, it had a booklet. Lots of tips and cars and what have you. And then in here, oh, that's just the, the base game. So nothing spectacular about that. So as a, as a collector's edition, all it is really is, uh, is a booklet. So nothing, uh, nothing to write home about. I can't get it back in. Right, we'll sort that out later. And then um, last but not least was the 
the Forza Motorsport 3 Collector's Edition. I think there was a there was a key there was a key fob came with this. I think I've probably got it for oh no, it's still there. This was this was a particularly nice one because you got um you got a stick, USB stick and a, a little key fob there. Um which I particularly liked and you got one of those nice foldy up uh, magnetized boxes which uh, I'm very keen on. So folks, um that's about it for racing games on the PS3 and the 360. Um, next time up we'll have third part, <coughs> which will be uh, obviously PS4 and Xbox One. I've got quite a few to show you there. Not quite as many as uh, PS3. And then I've got a few more vids lined up. As I said to you last time, we'll have a, um, we'll have a PC... Uh, first person shooter fantasy special um, and then I've got a I've got a couple more in mind which um, which will roll out in the next uh, few weeks or so so anyway thank you as ever for for watching and having patience so uh, this has been a, a bit of a longer video so if you made it to the end well done uh, and um, I will see you next time bye bye now